Andy No is under attack by men in masks. Masks of his own face. Hello everyone, this is Mr. Obvious, and today on Twitter.com with Andy No. So, many of you have heard the story about a gay conservative journalist who was attacked by Antifa, who was attacked by left-wing extremists, who was attacked by left-wingers, and they beat him pretty badly. There are pictures out there you can see where he's all bloody. He did suffer some brain trauma and damage that he will have to carry for the rest of his life. And they're harassing him, his family. It's, it's a terrible situation, my friends. And no one is talking about this. So I wanted to bring attention to this to show some support. So here Andy No says, These six individuals wearing print-out masks of my face approached my family's home last night, repeatedly rang the doorbell, pounded on the window, recorded footage of property and gestured at cameras. There were no candy bags. This follows their doxing of my elderly mom's small business. So these left-wing shitheads, these Antifa cowardly dogs, decided to come and intimidate Andy No. Now keep in mind, this guy is gay. He's conservative. And he's a journalist. And they attack him and harass him because he has the wrong opinion. Even though, according to the, uh, what do you call it? Diverse, uh, oppression Olympics? A gay minority ranks highly. So these people must be bigots. They must be extreme right-wingers and not Antifa. Because, uh, yeah, I thought only fascists attacked minorities, especially members of the LGBTQ. Huh? You suck my cock! Huh? Huh? But when did this change? So let's play this video and see what these people are doing. So you can see them on the camera, walking around, wearing the... And these are printouts of Andy No's face. Yeah, that's not creepy at all. See, this is what happens when y you watch too much TV and you think, oh, wow, I can be I can be a, a hero. I'm going to wear some dude's face and go to his house, his, his family's house. Yeah, trick or treat. I want to come out with a shotgun. Trick or treat, asshole. See, this is why another reason you need to have arms just in case. Like if anything, if anything like this ever happens to you, or you have a home invasion, you need to be able to defend yourself. And as long as you live in a base state like Texas, you're allowed to stand your ground in case any home invaders come and try to hurt you or harm you in any way. You also should call the police. It's so cringy, you know. You think about these lanky, skinny, left-wing losers who can afford to go out late and do crap like this because they don't have jobs, they don't have lives, they don't have girlfriends. You know, they're basically just sissies and cowards and, you know, losers. So uh, here's some pictures. They're trying to be intimidating, I suppose. Uh, let's look at some replies. Oh, someone read my mind. George Shea says, I recommend a shotgun. Yeah, shotguns are very good at intimidation. Like, even if you just cock a shotgun, like, ch -ch -ch, People freak out, like they'll get scared, they'll know you mean business. So Amber says this was meant for intimidation. I hope you can find a solution that is both legal and gives you the safety all Americans deserve. Yeah, again, call the cops, call the FBI, report a hate crime, <laughs> use their own tools against them. So Ginger Jones says, Jesus, it really has come to the point where extremists covering their faces to attack an Asian American because they don't like his politics, but they still think they are anti-fascist. Yeah, right. Couldn't have said it better myself. These people are fascists. Tom, yeah, he says it. This is fascism. Yeah, of course, these losers would never show up without masks. Tartan Kino says, bullies. They'd never dare show up individually and without the masks. They probably wouldn't know what to talk to you about either. They know not what they do because they're imbeciles. There's too many of them about, unfortunately. Yeah. That's what happens when you put safety labels on everything, okay? This is what happens when you coddle people. I honestly don't believe in safety labels. I don't. I think that we should let natural selection and Darwinism take its course because we have enough idiots walking around. The global average IQ is decreasing. It's decreasing. And the human brain is shrinking relative to, not relative to body size, which means that it's shrinking more than our bodies are shrinking, which is bad news. We are getting dumber. If you've ever seen Idiocracy, it's a movie about a man who's frozen and wakes up in the future where he's the smartest man alive despite being completely average because humanity has gotten so freaking dumb because all the dumb people kept reproducing and all the smart people didn't reproduce enough. Idiocracy, my friends, that's where we're headed. We're living with morons, C-Dub says. That will get you shot in Texas. Now, I mentioned it earlier. Yeah, or in Oklahoma. See, states with hold your ground laws are the best states because they let you defend yourself. Any state that doesn't let you defend yourself is not a state that you want to be in, honestly. So back to the earlier part of the thread. And you can see these losers. They think they're so intimidating. Godly, I bet I could crush these limp-wristed 
little losers with my body weight alone. I'm, I'm not even that heavy. I'm, I'm average, average weight. KV says, I hope you investigate this, especially since not too long ago, you had people come into your house and harassing you, and you took a pretty strong stance on not allowing that. Call the FBI, as Dr. Mickey says. Toby Guys has a really good comment here, and something that I think we can all reflect on. He says, we spend our lives watching dystopian cinema, then fail to realize when it becomes true. I think I realized it a long time ago, even as a child. I knew, I knew the world was sick. I could smell it. I could see the darkness seeping out of every corner. Back then, they just called me an edgelord. Today, <laughs> they call me the clown. Send in the clown. So Abisco says something that really pisses me off. I know it pisses a lot of us off. They're always covering their faces. Cowards. That's because they're little babies. They're little cowards. They can't handle any real activism, and they certainly can't handle when people can't handle it when people stand up to them. How many videos are there out there of Antifa getting their asses handed to them because they're weak and they get their asses handed to them because they think they're tough when really they're not. Tommy Error says, I noticed that leftist courage can always be measured by their numerical advantage. So here's something I've noticed about the right and the left in America. And I think a lot of you are going to say, wow, I think I, I think I get it. I think I agree when I say this. Now, here's the thing. What does leftism value? Idealism. Everyone should be equal. Everyone should be the same. Everyone should get goodies. Everyone should get handouts. These are the mentality of the weak. Okay, this is where weakness is. This is what weakness calls for. The weak demand equality. The weak demand handouts. The weak demand protection. Bigger government. All that. The right, on the other hand, individualism, self-sufficiency, personal responsibility. These are all aspects of the strong. So you have right-wingers who are the strong, and you have left-wingers who are made of the weak. The right-wingers are individualistic. The left-wingers are collective. And this is why leftism can never work. Leftism is collectivism. It is weakness. The weak band together. That is why they're only confident when they're in a crowd. And this is why so many right-wingers fight proudly alone. How many figures in the right wing have we seen do this? Fighting alone, standing against the Antifa horde, and often winning. Now, Joseph Ronaldson brings up the reason I have to bring up this story at all. I wonder if any establishment media is interested in a story of how a press member is being harassed at his home. Would their built-in hypocrisy of holding this speech when directed at reporters as violence, but some forms of violence is okay in opposition to ideas allow them to? So, yeah, this is a point. The media won't talk about this. I will talk about this. The media won't share this. I will share this. The media won't defend the truth. I will defend the truth. So here I am, a libertarian, protecting a journalist. My oh me, what a clowny world we live in. <laughs> but that's merely the obvious. Well, there you have it, folks. Andy No. He's under attack by masked men wearing his face. Like, yeah, that's kind of creepy. What do we do? How can we support him? I don't know. Um, maybe retweet his tweet. I'll retweet it now. He has a Patreon. He has PayPal. He has all that. Yes, yeah, subscribe star. There's links on his Twitter. I'll leave a link to his Twitter and the tweet. Speaking of, I also have Patreon and subscribe star if you want to take a look there. If you do join, you get access to Fight Club, private Discord server. But this is pretty much the story. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what what do you think is going to come of this, honestly. Maybe the FBI needs to get involved. I'm not sure. It, it's so hypocritical of the media. They're not going to defend one of their own. Of course they're not, because he has the wrong politics. This just proves that the left is evil. Anyways, thanks for watching. This has been Mr. Obvious, and I'll see you all next time.